Hey guys, we're playing a new dating sim called Coming Out on Top. Warning, this game contains adult content. You must be 18 years or older to play. I actually had to get the censored version, so there isn't nudity in my version. For, for whatever reason, I could not order the um, uncensored, uncensored version and just wouldn't go through. And I was able to get the censored version. I don't even know. Who knows? All characters appear. I would have been. I would have had to censor it anyway, so it doesn't change anything. All characters appearing in this fiction are fictitious. Any resemblances to real persons, living or dead, is purely coincidental. This work may depict sexual activities and fetishes that are dangerous or disturbing. Please educate yourself about how to practice sex safely. You heard that, guys? All right, coming out on top. I cannot wait for this. Is a gay dating sim? Condoms, yes, no. We will practice safe sex. Get that? Practice safe sex, yes. Don't say no, say yes. We're practicing safe sex. All right, skip after choices. Blah, blah, blah. That's all fine. Let's full screen this bitch for me. All right, gallery. Oh, it's all locked. Beards and hair. Beards, yeah, let's have a beard. All right, um, we'll give some of these people beards. All right, we'll have a good amount of beards and some non-beards. Great. All right, start. I need instructions, jump to the game. I don't think I need instructions if they're standard dating sim instructions, so I'm just gonna jump to the game. Hi, Mark Matthews. All right, that's us. Or would you rather be called something else? Ooh, we're a hot stud, aren't we? <laughs> we're pretty cute. I guess Mark Mads is a nice enough name. I don't like the name Mark. Mark reminds me of the neighborhood kid who used to fling cat poop at my head. All right, what is your first name? Our first name is Butt Plu. Butt Plu never had a last name. I feel like he needs a last name here. Butt Plu. Butt Plugging Ton. Oh, man. Butt Plu, Butt Plug. Beautiful. The BB. The BB. And your last name. Oh, fuck! <laughs> that was my last name. Go back. Go back. All right. Butt flu. But, well, now we can put butt plugging. That's a very, that's a very honorable last name. I like it. Butt flu. You are a senior at Orland University. Look at that. Oh, stud. It's been quite a ride, yet you feel like you've been missing out. In fact, you feel like you've faked your way through the last three and a half years of your life. You don't want to go through the motions anymore. You want to stop pretending. Now, if your palms could, would just stop sweating. Okay, butt flu, you lecture yourself. You're not a kid anymore. Your last semester of college starts tomorrow. You gave yourself a deadline and you're sticking to it, damn it. Everything's going to be just fine. Remember, whatever happens, try not to throw up. At least not on the carpet. It's shag. Horror to clean. Oh my god. We have like kind of shaggy carpet in our living room and the cats will puke on it because they're assholes. And it's, it is, it's horrible to clean. You call your roommates, Penny and Ian, into the room. So what's the big news, Butt Plu? You're going to tell me what a fantastic roommate I am and how you'd like to take over my dish duties this week? Well, uh, <laughs> get a grip. You can do this. Uh, so you guys aren't just my roommates, but my best friends. We've shared everything together. Hopes, fears, dreams, playlists. Toothbrushes! It was an accident, I swear. You say that almost every morning, Ian. Alright, cats are not allowed to play dating sims. Goodbye. Sorry, my cat jumped up and messed up my microphone. Rude. You say that almost every morning, Ian. Guys? Sorry. Go on, Butt Plu. Obviously, you've got something important to say. What's up, dude? You look nervous, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. I added more dudes than were necessary. Their stare penetrates you. You clear your throat, sweat beads across your forehead. Given you're my most loyal, trustworthy friends, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. I'm gay. I'm gay. High five. Uh, just a reminder, if you use up the last of the toilet paper, be responsible and replace it with another rule. I'm gay. High five. Um... Is this some kind of sol solidarity thing? Like when someone says we're all one race, the human race. Okay, then I'm gay too. High five. Guys, I'm serious. Um, guys, 
I've had a lot of friends come out to me and honestly, I don't think it's ever actually been an awkward moment. And I'm sure I have a lot of gay viewers and I'm sure some of them would, it would be great if you can leave some stories maybe in the um, comment section because, you know, just in case there's anyone out there who's worried about coming out, it's, you know, it's much more acceptable now. But of course, you you know your friends, you know your parents better than anyone else. So in some cases, um, you might have parents that would react in a very bad way. So I don't know, maybe if anyone has any stories they can share in the comments, that might be helpful to someone who's who's viewing this video. And I think that would be a cool thing for you to share. But that's up to you guys. All right, um, guys, if we could get, we were, got, I got serious there for a moment. We can all help each other. I, I always notice you guys are really helpful to each other and to me. And it's one of those moments. I've just let you in on the biggest announcement of my life. How about a little reassur reassurance? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Butt Plu. This is major. Wow, wow, wow. Now I know why you've been ignoring all those girls busting down your bedroom door. Yeah, I know. He's a fucking babe. Oh, God, Penny. Just because Butt Plu won't date your weirdo cousin. My cousin is not a weirdo. She carries around her own spork and won't eat without it. That's seven leagues deep into weirdo territory. That is pretty weird. <laughs> That's not deep into weirdo territory. That's quirky and cute. It's a little odd, but we won't judge. This is non-judgment time. Anyone out there who needs to come out about your spork usage, that's okay. You can vent in the comment section too. Oh, brother. Anyway, I do have another cousin that you might be interested in, Butt Plu, named Philbert, of the male persuasion. Jeez, Penny, quit pawning off your freaky family tree on him. <laughs> Look, I'm just excited, okay? Butt Plu, I'm really happy you told us. Good for you. We can talk about my cousin later. Do you have anything to say to me, Ian? Well, but Pluggington, I, for one, am disappointed. I was really, really hoping you were going to announce that you'd be doing the dishes. But about being gay, seriously, good for you, man. I feel privileged you shared this with us. That took a lot of guts. So what's it like to finally be out, dude? It's good. No, actually, it feels great. It's like, well, my life can finally get started, you know? It's hard to explain, but I feel... I kind of feel like my life has been somebody else's. A few tears begin to cloud your vision, but you quickly blink them back. Ah, We're so happy for you, Butt Plu. Penny and Ian wrap you in a hug. Ah, group hug time! This went better than you thought it would. The weight of your long kept secret falls from your shoulders and you feel a lightness. You want to laugh and to weep, but mostly you feel a beautiful sense of relief. Things really couldn't have gone better. But Blue, we should commemorate your big day. Hang on a sec. What was that for? I'm taking a photo of you for my tanning spray app. It's my latest project. It takes your photo and gives you a totally awesome tan. See? Oh, what? I swear, once I get all the bucks out, I'm going to sell a million units. Yeah. You got to help me beta test this. Penny, I don't think, I didn't think it was possible, but you might have surpassed your last app in idiocy. What happened to the last project of yours? Campus Mapper, was it? Wasn't it supposed to help students find their classes, but for some reason people kept walking into traffic? <laughs> it had a couple of pesky bugs. Nothing major. I remember you were testing it the day we met. If I hadn't yelled, watch out, I would have stepped right into an open drain. And landed on the bodies of your beta testers. <laughs> Shut your pie, holy in. Campus Mapper is still an alpha, and I'm going to be a millionaire once tanning spray is released. And who will you be? The guy who cleans the monkey cage at the zoo? Dude, monkeys are cool, and the zoo is dope as fuck. Don't judge, Penny. Look here, ignoramus. Being a zoologist means more than just cleaning cages. I also get to... Get to... Wait, no, that's about it. God damn it. <laughs> okay, here's the supply on Butt Plu. Time to celebrate. Let's head to Charlie's. Uh, Charlie's? It's the only gay bar in this area. Jesus, Penny, do you realize it's been like a couple of seconds since Butt Plu came out? Seconds. It's, oh, relax. It'll be fun. Besides, there's something I ought to check out there. Ian, why don't you join us? No, nah, I gotta head over to Zoe's. Her again? I can never tell when you two are together. How many times have you broken up now? Yeah, well, we're about to have the talk. Here's hoping she dumps me before I have to help her move into her new place. You know, Ian, call me crazy, but you could always be an adult and break it off first. What? No, people would totally think I was dumping her just to avoid helping her move. What was I thinking? Me and my wacky suggestions. Jesus, our roommates are psychos. Anyhow, sorry to bail, man. 
But we are so hanging out next weekend. Tonight you have fun with little Miss Zuckerberg here. Goodbye, Ian. <laughs> so ready for a little outing? Yes, let's hit up the gay bar. We're beautiful. Your Bubblu is beautiful. We can get anyone we want. <laughs> outing, I slay me. I'll be designated driver just a relaxing little evening at a new bar. No pressure, it'll be fun. Frankly, you do want to celebrate tonight, but it all seems so sudden. Are you ready for your first gay bar? Come on, Bud Plu, it's not like we're gonna even get homework yet. What else are you gonna do? Kick it with your goldfish? He's got a name, Penny, all right? He's got a fucking name. I don't appreciate your attitude. Name your fish. Slurpy the fish? Ew. He needs a great name. We're gonna name him Fierce. Fierce as fuck. Fierce as fuck? Are you serious, Bupplu? <laughs> well, I'm sure Pierce as fuck will be okay for one night. Shall we go? All right, you drive. Eh, I don't feel up to it. Let's just kick it here tonight. Let's go. Start it off with a bang. Oh, yeah, this is going to be awesome. So are you stunned by my admission? Yes and no. You've had your suspicions about me? You talk in your sleep. Exactly what have you heard? What aren't you telling me, Penny? Wait, is her name Penny? Her name's Penny, sorry. I was like, thought I randomly forgot her name all of a sudden. You seem to have a thing for shapely butts, but it's only now I realize it's not the female derriere that you were. You know what, we're just gonna stop talking about this now. No, let's talk about butts, butt blue. So I've got a question. You have a question? Virgin, yes or no? You know, I have dated a couple of girls. Come on, you know what I mean. The D, the wing, the main vein, the beef bayonet, the steam and semen road rate, the schmeckle, the... You know what, Penny? You need to calm the fuck down. I might have done a thing or two. Wait, oh my god, let me guess. It was a guy from your water polo team, right? Locker room, post game, you hit the showers with your teammate. She's getting really into this, isn't she? He's soaping himself, but he's struggling, but his arm is in a sling. In a sling? Hell, no wonder he had such a bad season. So he says, yo, what up, but Pluggington? I can't reach this spot, bro. <laughs> You've been reading those weird stories written by teenage girls again, haven't you? And you say, which spot, bro? How romantic. And he goes, the spot right here, man, needs my balls. Oh, just God, stop right there, please, Penny. <laughs> After making a few errant turns on one-way streets, Penny parks the car a block away from Charlie's. Taking a deep breath, you enter the dimly lit bar. Oh my gosh, love the ambience! So, Bupley, what are you drinking? Let me get you something. Whiskey straight up, because I'm gonna need it. Beer, dark, bitter, like my soul. A glass of Cabernet, for once, not out of a box. Midori sour, white Zinfandel, milk white, creamy like my, uh, whoa. Let's get all suggestive in this bitch. No, I'm not ordering you a milk. Try again. Ah, oh, gee whiz. All right, let's go with whiskey. No, we might be, I don't know, is he a lightweight? I need to know. How about a white Zinfandel? How about a white Zinfandel? Penny steps up to the bar. You look around, trying not to rubberneck your way to door hood. Be cool, Butt Plu, be cool. Dude, if Butt Plu walked in any gay bar, and my best friend in high school was a really, really good-looking gay guy. Dude, he, he would get avalanched with men. Just like, hey, hello, please talk to me. Like, no problem. You just gotta be chill, Bupplu. You got this. This place isn't much different than any of the bars near campus. Sure, the crowd is older. Sure, there might be a few more men here and there. But they're just here to chill out, right? This is nerve-wracking. In the past, you've always been able to hide behind the convenient, if uncomfortable, disguise of heterosexuality. If you want to check someone out, you can do it discreetly and not have to worry about consequences. This, however, is an entirely new frontier. You sense the weight of several eyes grazing over you. Oh yeah, they are. We're fine as fuck. You swear you're being checked out, but you're too terrified to look up and confirm it. You hear somebody yell, hey, in your direction. You glance up and see a guy in the corner staring straight back at you. He waves. Wave back, gulp, pretend to be really fascinated by a ketchup bottle. We are waving back. We're going all in. He's not really your type, but you wave at him anyway. Paul! Unfortunately, you realized just then when he was waving at some guy who just walked through the door. Awkward. Your penny were just covering your mouth to yawn. Has Penny ordered drinks yet or what? Alright, what celebratory drink coming up? 
The bartender will have it for you in a sec. I'm going to the restroom. I'll be right back. Maybe it's my chance to make a run for it. And you don't even think of ditching me, Butt Plu! What are you even talking about? Alrighty, this place is like a second home. I'm not going anywhere, don't you worry, with your little sweatshirt on. Totally dressed up for tonight. <laughs> mm-hmm. You sit down and wait for your order. The bartender hands you your drink. You sip it nervously. nervously. Ah, something to stare at soon. I don't have to look up. You peer into your glass, trying not to make eye contact with anybody. Just as you start to unwind and feel like you can breathe again, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Ha! You piss faster than anybody I know. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh. Hey there. After years of vigorous training, somebody's finally noticed. I've almost given up. Well, oh my god, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were somebody else. It's my fault for sneaking up on you. How about we start over? I'm Alex. Can I buy you another drink? Sure, I'll have another one of these. No thank I'm good, no thanks. Yeah, I'll have another one of these. No noting that he's got something that looks like scotch in his own glass, you try not to feel embarrassed as he hands you your fizzy pink glass of Zin. So you come here often? Actually, no, this is my first time here. It's not bad. Kind of a cool vibe. Not really. This is my first time here. I actually just came out today with my friends. No, I've never been here before because I just came out today and my friend dragged me here and she's in the bathroom right now and I don't know what's taking her so long and it isn't funny how these things just kind of happen, isn't it? Not, not saying that one. That is not the correct answer. Guys, let's act cool. Chill. We got this. Breathe. <sighs> actually, no. This is my first time here. Not bad. Kind of a cool vibe. By the way, I didn't catch your name. It's Philbert. <laughs> it's Butt Plu. <laughs> it's Butt Plu. He's getting ideas in his head. We just said our first name, Butt Plu, and he's already like, damn, his name is Butt Plu. That has to mean he gets freaky as butt. All right. In any case, Butt Plu, I can't believe I just pulled the do you come here off line on you. And I hate to cut this short, but I have to get up early tomorrow. Maybe we can continue this chat sometime. I'd love to get your number. Sure, here you go. Actually, I wasn't looking to meet anybody tonight, but thanks, I'm flattered. Uh, uh, okay, here, here it is. <gasps> Not interested, sorry. <laughs> Whatever, you're way too old for me. Here you go. It was great meeting you, Butplu. We'll talk soon. You watch him leave. This brief encounter has left you feeling flushed and heady. And needless to say, it's a nice ego boost. Whoa, I took forever, didn't I? Were you writing a novel in there? <laughs> Dude, I was loving that restroom. This public bathroom app listed as one of the best restrooms in the city. Five stars from over 100 users. <laughs> Italian marble counters, Brazilian hardwood floors, and free breath mints? I've never been to a place with free candy in the bathrooms. Damn, this place is the real deal. So anything happened while I was gone? Somebody hit on me. Whoa, you didn't waste any time, do you, Pupply? Well, with these devilishly good looks. Penny, please. Penny, please. <laughs> Point him out to me. He had to leave. Damn it, I can't believe I missed that. I'm so mad at myself. Anyway, just one more drink? I mean, it is our last semester. Gotta get it off to a good start, right? The fact you came out today, I think it's been great so far. Back at the apartment, Penny retires to her bedroom, eager to get back to coding. Man, you sure are antsy. You have to stop yourself from checking your messages every five minutes. After all, like Alex said he was having a busy day tomorrow. Of course he's not going to call tonight. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy to play games. But in the meantime, damn, you're horny. Your balls feel like they've hit DEFCON 1. You need to get off. Later that night. As you wash up in the bathroom, you notice that something that's rolled its way into the bottom of the sink. You pick it up. A tube of lube. It's probably Ian's. Borrow his lube just this once. Ew, are you kidding? Leave it there. Borrow his lube just this once. You pick up the tube and return to your bedroom. He claps onto your bed and examines the tube carefully. Trigger extreme. High-end lubricant for solo and mutual pressure. Pressure, guys. Pleasure. Long-lasting, moisturizing, pH balance, safe and effective. Nine out of ten customers agree. It's like the good Lord returned to my foreskin. For a tasty dressing, add a salad with a dash of splash of vinegar. More recipes on back. Let's take this for a test drive, shall we? 
You squeeze some lube onto into your palm and you start sliding up and down your cock. Whoa! Whoa! It's getting good, guys. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. We should have just brought that to the bar and just announced to the entire bar, like, Hey, I got some lube! And we would have had at least 15 guys like, Alright, let's go! Ten years later, a fog of lust overwhelms you. <laughs> Check your phone. You nearly fall out of bed as you seize your phone. Damn it, false alarm. Damn it, Penny! Damn it, Penny! You're killing me! Yo, butt blue, latest version of tanning spray turns nipples blue. Would you call this a bug or a feature? You sigh. All this beta testing is starting to wear thin. Tell her it's bug, tell her it's feeler. Don't text her. We're gonna give her that hot ignore. You pretend you were sleeping. She'll figure it out. Back to work. <laughs> oh. The lube works. It's velvety magic. Within seconds, you're ready to come. You get short as voices erupt from Penny's room. Damn it, Penny! Not now! God, how many times have I told you that? Sorry, but have you seen my lube? I must have lost the bottle yesterday when I got trashed. Will you stop leaving that shit in the open? I almost grabbed your sex sleeve this morning instead of the game controller. Hey, relax. We're all adults here. Self-pleasure shouldn't be an act of shame. This is not about your right to masturbate. I'm just telling you to hide that shit. It's gross. It's lube, Penny. Calm down. Oh, I guess if it's laying all about, <laughs> it's like a dirty bottle, then that's a little weird. Anyways. Okay, enough said. Well? Well what? Well, have you seen my loot? Please, guys, you're ruining my moment. For God's sake, no, I hope I never do. Hide it, butt blue, hide it, butt blue, now, hide it. And don't forget a knock next time, God! You hear footsteps approach, hide it, hide it, hide it. Dude, you wake. Can't find my loot. Have you seen it? You stare at the door. You stare at the bottle of lube on your mattress. You stare at the dick in your hand. Hide lube. You shove the lube into your trash dresser. You pretend like you're half asleep. Exactly! Yes, this is what needed to happen. Huh, what? Nope, I'm not anymore. Are you sure it's got an orange lid? Nope. Well, that sucks. That's my go-to brand for special occasions. Where the hell did I leave it? You, wear, you hear footsteps as Ian wanders off. You resume checking it. With grim determination, you enclose your lubed hand around your cock and pump away. Your hand, stirring in faster and faster, disappears into a blur. Yeah, off it. <laughs> Monday. What a wonderful Sunday we just had. In the morning, you and Ian walked to campus together. How'd it go with Zoe last night? Awful. We're still together. Her move's coming up. I don't know. I'm gonna be hauling her giant ass armoire up a flight of stairs. How'd it go with the bar? This guy hit on me. No way, really? That's insane. Jeez, I didn't think I was that undateable. Wait, Bubflu, you know that's not what I meant. It's just that, I mean, you came out last night. It's just happening so fast. I mean, not like it shouldn't happen so fast. You're perfectly capable of attracting. I mean, you're a good enough looking dude. Not that I'm like checking you out or anything. Not that it's wrong to check out other guys. Dude, relax, I was just playing around. I'll, I'll just shut up now. Well, there's my building. Enjoy anatomy. I know you'll ace the intro course, but if you need any help, I've got- I still got notes from my freshman year. Wait a second, didn't you pla barely pass that class? I've got a C plus, newsflash, that's passing, plus a side order of awesome. I think I'll be okay. Oh, so Mr. Rhodes, P scholars, too good for my secondhand notes? Look at me, I'm butt blue butt Pluggington. My GPA is over 2.1. I'm somebody special. Well, let me tell you something, buddy. While I may not be a member of the intellectual elite, Ian, I'm an English tutor. I help ESL students conjugate verbs. I'm not ashamed of being a salt of the earth American. See these hands? Callous and rough from years of honest physical labor. You're a part-time barista. You know what burns more than hot coffee? The scalding words of privilege to working class ears. Later, Ian. You head to your class. You take a seat at the back of the lecture hall and open your laptop. The lower division course should be a catwalk. Cakewalk. Scheduling conflicts have caused you to skip it for the past three years. Admittedly, you're stoked about taking the class now since, unlike most of the stressed out freshmen and sophomores around you, you'll be able to sit back and relax. The lecture hall begins to fill up. You can hear a couple of students whispering next to you, freshmen. Funny, now that you're a senior, they look so young. You hear the kid behind you mutter, I hear this guy's gonna supposed to be real good. The girl next to him snorts, Puzzy, how good can a born old anatomy class be? 
<laughs> Just then the door behind you swings open and a man walks past you towards the library. The girl snickers. Holy shit, I take that back. Oh my god, is it gonna be the guy we met at the bar? I'm definitely going to office hours this semester. Hey! Hey! Professor! Hello! Hello there! Ooh! This... This can't be happening. Hi class, I'm Professor Davies. I'm a new professor here at Orland. Hello, Professor! I thought we'd start intro to a human anatomy with a question. Who here has ever broken a bone? Alex, er, Professor Davies begins his lecture. Despite the dry subject, he gets the class laughing. You sit in disbelief, trying to retrieve your jaw from the floor. As your classmates listen attentively and take notes, you squirm in your chair, sinking lower and lower. You figure the 13-inch laptop is enough to shield you from his gaze. You cling to hope he won't recognize you in the sea of faces. As for the class, how could he not recognize this beautiful face? I mean, mm, he'd notice. Maybe you'll borrow Ian's notes after all, because there's no way in hell you're going to be able to concentrate now. You manage to sit through the longest 90 minutes of your life. Class ends. You fumble as you get your stuff together. You, ne you nearly drop your laptop. Your hands feel disconnected from your brain, but somehow they finally shove your things into your backpack. You rush out of the auditorium in a daze. As you stumble your way behind the exit, you hear a voice call out behind you. But Blue, wait. Shit. Can we talk privately for a moment, Butt Blue? My office is right down the hall. You feel your stomach drop. Your heart starts to race. I still got that lube, Professor A! You hope to God Alex can't tell how nervous you are. Your cheeks feel like they've caught fire. A faint whiff of aftershave hits your nostrils, making you lightheaded. As if on cue, your mind races with a, do a dozen different scenarios. But Blue, I had no idea you attended this school. I couldn't fathom a student from this college would be in a bar so far from campus, especially the night before the first day of class. Total miscalculation on my part. I should have realized it was only the it was the only gay bar in Orland, right? But I want to assure you that as your professor, it would be totally inappropriate of me to pursue anything further. Listen, Butplu, what I'm trying to say is that I don't want to scare you off. I teach a pretty mean anatomy class if I say so myself. I think the class will be well worth it. And so, have I made these things awkward enough between us yet? Yes, this is creepy. It totally reminds me of last week's episode of Catch, <laughs> Catch Predator. You know, it'll be tough, but I guess somehow I'll manage, Grin. You know, I'm still open to dating. Nobody would have to know about it. In that case, I could really use an anatomy lesson right now, Professor Wink. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh! I want one of these! I don't want to be okay with it. I want to date you. I don't even need to date you. We could just fuck right here. Um, hmm. Sorry, I got way ahead of myself. <laughs> I could use an anatomy lesson right here. That might be too forward. Nobody would have to know about it. Ah! I did it! Oh, I did it! I clicked the creepy line. Um, uh, that's not funny, but Blue. Oh yeah, I couldn't help myself. Bad joke, sorry. He just needs a little encouragement going for a kiss. Bad joke, I'm, I'm very sorry. What a relief, I thought you were. Never mind. Alex shifts uneasily and clears his throat. Anyway, thanks for chatting with me, Butt Blue. I'll see you next lecture. Aw, oh, man, your head feels like you've taken one too many trips on a merry-go-round. Boy, what a distracting start to the semester. You hear footsteps and a voice coming around the corner. It's being retracted? Insufficient evidence? According to whom? Oh, I do apologize for my severe tone, but you must understand. The data! A heavy leather heel slams down right onto your foot. Ow! Hey, watch it, kid! What the hell? What the hell? You just stepped on my foot. That's what happens when you don't pay attention, son. Wait, wait, wait. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to some mouth breather. Wait. Splendid timing, you clod. Before you can respond, the man storms off, tapping furiously at his phone. Dick? As you recollect your thoughts, a flash of light nearly blinds you. God damn it. Penny, no! No, Penny, I need to vent to you, though, because my professor was the guy I met at the gay bar, and then I made this awkward pickup line, and it totally went bad, and I pretended it was a joke. But I knew that he could tell I was bullshitting about that, and I was had a bad day. <laughs> and I need to cry, and you're taking pictures of me. 